So welcome to EverClockingTV.com. We're currently in the CES in Las Vegas, and I'm here with Louis from Kingston. Who's going to tell us about their SSD. All right, uh, welcome. Thank you for showing up. Um, <laughs> SSD, solid state disk, right? Um, if you take a look here, we've got an example of some SSDs that we have. Um, this week, the, this week at CES, we announced a couple of SSDs. The first is we announced a 30 gig SSD that we're going to be doing. Low cost, low, capac uh, low, low capacity, we're looking at sub $100, um, US dollars. Um, primarily it's a boot drive, so you can basically boot your OS off of this drive. Um, very high speed, um, quick boot, uh, quick application loading. And what we want you to do is basically run the OS off the 30 gig drive, and then after that, run your, your movies, music, data, iTunes, all of that stuff on your, on your typical mechanical hard drive. So that is, if you take a look there, there's an example of some of our low, low capacity ones. That's our current line right now. That's our 40 gig SSD drive now. You can see down there on the bottom. And we have announced, uh, after that, we've announced our 30 gig drive now also. So in this case, we have them set up in a RAID 0 configuration for really good performance. You'll be able to do the same thing with our 30 gig. We're also going to launch with trim support, so for Windows 7 with that. Um, this also we announced, our new V+. Plus. This is our Gen 2 um, from 64 gig up to 512 gig. So we have a half terabyte SSD now available in the market, also with trim support. Um, read speeds of 220 megabyte sequential and up to 180 megabyte sequential write. So very, very fast SSD. Uh, that one will be uh, will be available in the market probably within two to three weeks, and uh, that again will also launch with trim support. It's a very very fast drive. Okay, I have a question for you. Sure. Okay. Um, do you plan to release some SATA 3 uh, SSD or future like USB key? Uh... Oh yes, of course. Yeah, I mean both SATA 3 and USB 3 are very very exciting. USB 3 to 2 is what is it, a, a 10x improvement. Mm -hmm. You know, SATA 3 is another doubling in, in performance, and so I think you're going to see both of those out of us soon. I'd say probably the SATA, the USB 3 devices you'll see before SATA 3. So we're evaluating controllers right now, trying to pick the best one that matches up with the, the NAND that we like to use. Uh, we want to right, we'll make sure we pick the right partner. So obviously, along with high performance, we want high quality. And I think you'll see both of those from us probably sometime later this year. Yeah. Okay, do you have expectation for launch date for USB 3 key? Or for USB 3, I would say sometime in the, in the, in the Q3 timeframe still. I know there's controller companies that support it out there now. We're still looking for a very good kind of stable, uh, very compatible USB 3 controller now. And so. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, okay, thank so you. Thank you very much. All right, appreciate it. And yeah. hope to meet you again soon for <laughs> some other interview, maybe. Okay, I'm sure we will, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thank bye. you. Okay, bye. Thank you.